tell me, you know, you've been here for two days now. This is my first political convention of any sort. I've heard it's unique in many ways. What's your take? Presumably you've been to a few in your life. This is my first one. Oh, okay. This is my first convention, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I think that there's a sense in the country that uh, the measures, that uh, the policies that President Biden and Vice President Harris have been pursuing are starting to take effect. We're seeing the inflation rate coming down. They've had a very focused effort to reduce inflation. So we're seeing that policy being successful. Uh, he's actively engaged in trying to de-escalate the tensions in the Middle East. So he's very engaged in foreign policy. And I think those efforts are beginning to pay fruit as well. Essentially, uh, you know, the policies that are working, why would you want to change policies that are bringing inflation down? Well, so that, that's interesting. So when Biden-Harris ran, the sense that I got was that Biden was running as the more centrist candidate. Kamala Harris was running as the more progressive candidate. Today we have the Harris-Waltz ticket. And the question is, um, they see they're both more progressive candidates. Is that going to be an issue for the middle of the road voters? Oh, no, I'm a middle of the road voter. Okay. No, I'm a centrist Democrat. I come from the, the corporate world. I'm in commercial real estate. and. Uh, no, I'm uh, completely on board with our ticket. It's a great ticket, highly qualified. They're both a uh, people of great achievement. Uh, the policies that they're champion uh, are policies meant to help the working families. What do you think Governor Waltz needs to accomplish in tonight's speech? Just continue to be the person that he is. He's real. He's genuine. He's, you know, 24 years of military service, uh, a coach, uh, a mentor for young people, uh, a neighbor next door. That's the kind of person that he is, and I think he's conveyed that so far, and I just think that's what he needs to continue to convey. Um, so this is, I'm very interested, you describe yourself as a centrist Democrat. How do you respond to the criticisms when people say that the, the party has moved really left? That's, I, I, I hear that often. Well, I, I think it's a legitimate argument that there are more people in the Democratic Party today that consider themselves progressive than there were 10, 20 years ago. The party is still a centrist party. We just have people, we're more willing to embrace a wider variety of viewpoints than we were maybe 20 years ago. But uh, no, we're still a mainstream party and we welcome progressives, we welcome conservatives, we welcome uh, you know, centrist. We welcome corporate people, such as myself. So, it's uh, it's what it takes to build a, a truly unified coalition, and that's what the Democratic Party is. It has always been a coalition party.